Hey there, welcome to another episode of Music Express. My name is Twan and today I'm going to talk about a house classic from the 80s. It got released 30 years ago in 1987. It's a track that contains a lot of samples and I think it was pretty groundbreaking uh, for that time. I'm talking about Pop Up The Volume from Mars. So today I'm going to tell you more about this legendary track. Enjoy! Mars started in the year 1987 as a collaboration between English groups A.R. Kane and Colorbox together with some help of C.J. McIntosh and Dave Durrell. The name of the band is an acronym derived from the four names of the members of the group. Martin Young, Alex Ajuli, Rudy Tambella, Russell Smith and Steve Young. Both A.R. Kane and Colorbox were signed to 4AD, an independent British record label. Both groups wanted to make a commercially oriented dance record, inspired by the American house music that was getting more popular around that time. Label founder Evo Watts Russell introduced both groups to each other so they could start to work on a track together. But the collaboration didn't really go as planned. Once they were in the studio, it became pretty clear that it wasn't going to work out, since both groups had different working methods. Plus, according to some people, all the different personalities together wasn't a success either. So instead of actually working together, the two groups each recorded the track and after they finished it, they turned it over to the other for additional input. One of the two tracks was Pop Up The Volume, which is mostly done by Martin Young from Colorbox. He made a track constructed for the most part of samples from other tracks. The title from Pop Up The Volume is taken from one of the samples that you can hear in the track I Know You Got Soul from Eric B and Rakim and that one came out just a few months before the Mars track in the same year. Luckily enough that Eric B and Rakim track was signed on 4AD which happens to be the same label as the Mars track so it was a lot easier to use the sample in the track. Pop Up The Volume was a milestone in the world of sampling culture and it influenced later releases from acts such as Cold Cut, Bomb The Bass, The S Express, Hit House, The KLF and others. Pop Up The Volume contains samples from Africa Bambata, Public Enemy, Bar Case, Fat Five Freddy, Cool and The Gang, Run DMC and many many others. But not everybody was happy with the used samples. When the track was climbing the charts, the single ran into legal difficulties. A part of Roadblock by Stock Aitken and Waterman was used and they were not happy with that. So for the US version the sample of Roadblock is not included. Also other samples have been replaced for that release and new samples were used. However, Pop Up The Volume became a huge success and it was the first number one single for the record company in that year. The track can be heard in several movies, for example My Staff Mother Is An Alien and Bright Lights Big City. Despite the success of Pop Up The Volume, it was just a one-off project. There has never been a follow-up track, unfortunately. Alright, that was it, my vlog about Mars and Pop Up The Volume. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if so, make sure to give me a like and leave a comment in the comment section below. And very important, subscribe so you will be the first one to get a notification once a new vlog is online. Once again, thank you for watching and until next time, bye bye.